Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. It is Bitcoin. Anyways, I'm not going to sing here for you guys. Bitcoin is absolutely pumping. We have hit new all time highs all once again. You can see here we reached 98,000, call it 98,444 odd that we reached, my friend. That is like 1.5% away from 100K. Who said we wouldn't get to 100K? Look how long it's taken us. Look how much patience we've had to get, have to get us to this point. But we are finally here. And in this video, I wanna show you a few things that probably could tell us that we're going to just continue the explosion to the upside, my friend. Make sure to stay tuned. Let's get right into this. So first of all, as we know, Michael Saylor has been buying up Bitcoin left, right, and center. And I wanna compare where Bitcoin currently is as one of the top assets uh, by market cap across the world because it has officially gone into place number seven and surpassed um, Saudi Aramco. So, my friends, we are well into this now. Bitcoin is just going up. The next target is to gobble up Google. <laughs> and then Amazon. Okay, what do you think? Because right now, we're literally, call it 300, 200 billion away from gobbling up Amazon. Okay, so if you don't think that we're gonna get another 200 billion in this market cap, which would really take us kind of like to 104,000 probably, my friends, you ain't ready for what's about to happen. MicroStrategy with this $46 billion buy option going, he bought $4.6 billion. He's already bought 10% of what he said he was going to do over a five-year period, but he's now doing it over, uh, like he's done 10%, sweet, quick. And here you can see that the, the ranking is now at 135. This morning, it was at 159. Okay, he was sitting at like three, $380 odd. I mean, yeah, I mean, 11% doesn't make up for that, but my friends, this is big. It's added like another $10 billion into its market cap. All right, <clears throat> this is amazing. In the last year, it's had a 940% change. What the fuck? Look at that. That's the chart. Boom, pump, crashed, failed. Brrr. Boom. Look at this, he started buying. This is where he started buying Bitcoin. Boom, transition into Bitcoin. And ever since then, he's taken the business from being at like a $3.5 billion market cap to over a $100 billion market cap within a year. You see what I'm saying, my friend? The buys are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And here, as you can see, these are the cycle tops. So all time high break, December 20, November 24, April 2017 and February 2013. Okay, once we made the all time breaks, okay, which was right there, right there and right there, we're at that point right now. We still have quite a chunky way to go. We've, re we've already punched through this 100,000 here. We're about to break through the 100,000. We haven't quite hit 100,000. We're about to hit six digit Bitcoin, my friend. Ha! Okay. Now, there's always two cycle tops. On the stochastic RSI, you can see here, shout out to CryptoCon for this chart. You can always see here, boom, punch up, first one, bam, pull back or capitulation, pull down on the R stochastic, punch, and the next one. Simple. Then we had a final breakdown and pull down. Then the same thing happened here, boom, 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 down. Same thing happened here, boom, boom. Okay, except this one here had a very small one. Look at this here, boom, boom. We're kind of at this phase here right now. We're getting ready to make our way up, boom, and then pull back for some time, okay? I think we're gonna have a very, very cool pump, probably up to maybe April at the absolute most. <clears throat> we're then gonna have a dump, probably until like 
or like August again, and then from August to the 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 remainder of the year, an absolute pump, and then it's gonna fall on its ass probably after that. I don't know. That's just my prediction based on the cycles that have been and what I have learned on the charts. But you cannot compare this, my friends. Look at this. The Bitcoin industrial complex crushed their record today with a 50 billion in volume context. And this was yesterday, by the way. Uh, for context, that same um, as ADV of entire UK stock market. And MicroStrategy alone was $32 billion of it. That's massive, okay? And MSTU and MSTX combined for six billion, which is more than all the spot BTC ETFs, which were also elevated. What a scene. Okay. Bitcoin hits 98,367. Yeah, on one chart, it's yeah, it's a lifetime high for sure. And it nears two trillion dollar market cap. I I did show you that, but uh yeah, so that's the current market cap right here, eh? That's the current market cap right here, right now. <laughs> That's powerful, my friend. Bitcoin is getting ready. Boom, boom. Knock out 100K. Boom, boom. Now, if you're keen for it to knock out 100K, make some noise. Let's listen to this video here. Could Bitcoin double in value by the end of the year, drawing parallels to past market moves? This prediction highlights how historical trends and major events could push BTC to 120. Let's listen. I think uh, by the end of the year, we're going to be at 120K. Damn. Now, you you may call me crazy, but uh, if we just look back here, um, four years ago, uh, we had the election around here. Uh, the price of Bitcoin was around $15,000. By the end of the year, it was $30,000, so double. Now, I think we're going to do a similar move here between now and the next year. You given of course you have to acknowledge that we're talking we're talking about bigger cool. and i'm going to show you some more evidence here in a moment this is a post from michael saylor i think comfortably over 100k makes sense before the end of this year okay so multiple people are i think that's segments. right it does seem like bitcoin is becoming a more and more a hallmark of what this next administration is gonna have and it does solve some of the deficit concerns you know if bitcoin becomes a reserve asset and it and it may solve some of the, what I'd consider uh, inherent problems of the current financial system. You know, their Bitcoin remains a, a very secure blockchain. So I think there's still a lot of potential for Bitcoin. So you, you where were we last time you were, or at least a, a recent time I asked you, still triple digits by the end of the year. I think we were around 70 or under 70. We're much closer now. So you, I don't want to ask you if you're raising your price target on on Bitcoin, but it looks like triple digits is certainly a, a possibility. It's, what is it? It's November. Yeah, I think I think comfortably over a hundred thousand makes sense before the end of this year, and, and Bitcoin is trading pretty closely to how it should post having. So I, I think it, you know, the next twelve months look pretty good for Bitcoin. So if you've been sitting on the sideline, well, my friend, you're losing out because here is uh, Michael Saylor. So you can come to SaylorTracker.com. Um, <clears throat> they're 94% up. Okay. Here are all the green dots is where they've purchased Bitcoin. So their first purchase of Bitcoin was back here in, on sub, not, September 29, 17 September, 2020. Okay. All of these dots. So they bought the highs, bought the highs, bought the highs, bought the highs, bought these highs, bought these highs, bought these lows, bought these lows. They keep buying. They're buying here. They bought a whole 4.6 billion here. They're continuing to buy. Okay. If you have a look at the chart, okay, we had a bullish flag. Now we're building another bullish flag, which we kind of breaking out here. If we can hold here and retest this, back test this, I'm pretty confident that we're going to we're going to see another pump up. And the reason I say we're going to see another pump up is because we could probably and very likely come up to the 102 to 104 odd thousand level. I think 104, yeah, somewhere. So we could come up to here. At that point, my friend, I think we're gonna have to have a little bit of a steam cool down, although my line like that does not say that. It just says we're really gonna pump up to maybe the 2.618. 
We could really pump up here. It's really not that that much of a move for Bitcoin considering how much Bitcoin has made him made personally. I mean, 62%. That's really busy. Bitcoin could do that in like three weeks. Okay. Three, four weeks quite easily. So really, if we get there, like that's really amazing. I'd like to see what that starts to look like. So let's go and see here. One Bitcoin is worth 96,783. We've fallen 2000 since we punched up to that 98K level. Um, I'd like to say here, um, you know, if we're doubling here, we're asking Bitcoin to get to a $4 trillion market cap, right? Yeah, so that would take a $4 trillion market cap would, would take us up to 202,000. That is very, 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 very reasonable. Now, my personal target is 300,000, okay, which would give us a 6 million market cap, a 6 trillion market cap on Bitcoin, okay? And honestly, there are some people that believe it could hit a lot higher. And I said, well, you know, Bitcoin could likely hit a $10 trillion market cap, 10 to $12 trillion market cap. So if it did, that would be a 500 to $600,000 Bitcoin. Okay, my friends, that's pretty darn good is all I can say to you because your one Bitcoin, okay, would convert into from $96,000 into $606,000. It's pretty darn fucking good money. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you use my link here. You can see I'm in a little ton trade here, getting ready for breakout because you can see it's breaking out. So we're getting ready to make some money here. Use the link down below. Come and trade some Bitcoin with me as well um and ethereum and solana they're all pumping here paypay is pumping you can see here that this is just the beginning because there's the target actually of the, the bullish breakout and we haven't quite made our way up there so 108,000 really is the target for the next move on bitcoin you let me know what your thoughts are down below and appreciate you sharing your time with me on this channel thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one